is a screencast demo of the Pizzazz Portfolio WordPress plugin. I'm John Hooley, one of the creators of Pizzazz, and I've set up a test site so we can take a look at it. So for our site, we have this fake company, Roxy Design Branding Experts, and this is their portfolio, which they've created using Pizzazz. So Pizzazz, for any, any item description you have, you can use HTML elements, unordered lists, bold and italicized font. When you have several different items, it'll implement a slider to keep everything displaying cleanly and compact all on one page. Pizzazz is also responsive. It's gonna break down cleanly to mobile devices and back up again. It's sensitive to the container that it's in. So if we had a sidebar here, Pizzazz would know to display itself vertically to make the best use of the space. Pizzazz doesn't use any Ajax, which means that all the content loads on this page and is searchable by Google or Bing or whatever search engine you're targeting. So let's take a look at how you would create a portfolio. So here in the back end of our site, all you need to do is go to Pizzazz. And this is our existing portfolio. So there's already some items in it, but we'd create it from scratch the same way. And to create a new item, all we do is go add new and put uh, test portfolio item for our description or for our title, some dummy text for our description here. And then we're gonna set the image. Pizzazz uses the WordPress media gallery. So I'm just gonna upload a new file here and click set featured image. Pizzazz is going to use the image we uploaded without any changes as the main slide, and it's going to use the thumbnail created by WordPress for the slider and for the responsive view. All right, so we've published our item, and now on the front end, let's take a look. And there's our test item we uploaded. Now, once you've created your portfolio, you need to put it on your um, onto the front end of your site. And how you do that is using short code. And you can put the short code in any post or page you have. For this one, this portfolio is on a page. So if we look at this portfolio item, you can see that all we do is we put the word pizzazz in brackets. And once we've done that, it'll load on this page in the in the in the space wherever you've placed it. That's all there is to it. If you need any help, we do have a website, giveitpizzazz.com, and there's some documentation on there for the free version. Um, I'll make sure and post a link at the end of the screencast. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you have any feedback, I'd love to hear it. You can reach me at john at bluebridgedev.com. Thanks for watching.